Hey, what's up guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. Now I want to go over the A minor, F, C, and G chord combo. You've seen in one of my videos, I go over the four chord combos that every guitar player needs to learn. The G, C, E minor, D, the E, A, B, C sharp minor, or the track chords. These are my main four. These are the track chords. The D, A, G, and B minor often used in the A, F, C, I mean the A minor, F, C, and G. Those four, every guitar player really needs to work on and learn. So let's go over and zoom in on the A minor, C, A minor, F, C, and G chord. For the A minor, you're going to play first finger, second string, and then play the fourth and third of the second fret. You strum, you strum the bottom five. That's your A minor, so second, fourth, and third. Then let's go from there to an F. Keep this first finger on the second string, and all you're going to use is your ring finger and pinky finger and play the fifth and fourth strings of the third fret. Right there. Now it's an alternative way to play an F, but I'm telling you it sounds great in most songs. It's a lot easier. So again, go from A minor to take those to move to your ring finger and pinky to the fifth and fourth. That's your F. To a C, you're going to simply slide this finger over and then put your middle finger on the four string second fret and strum the bottom five. So that's a good transition to work on from F. Then over to a regular C, which is two, four, five. And then you're going to take all your fingers off for the G, lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret, and then play your fifth and sixth. And strum all six. Now I use these chords in one of the songs I wrote. Um, he's in love, he's in love, and he's sitting on the throne. He's in love. He's alive, forever making no home. He's coming back again to call his children home. He's alive, he's alive, my Savior is alive. It's one, two, one, two, one. All you do is two counts, each of those. Great song to work on to transition. A minor, F, C. A minor, F, C, G. And then to spice it up, you want to get a little fancy. Here's what you work on to advance from that level. On the A minor, work on hammering on. Do a hammer on, which you start out, you strum it without those two fingers on there. And then put them on the fourth and fifth, third. For the F, you lock in the F. And you can work on taking that middle finger on and off the third string. That's more advanced. With the C, work on taking that middle finger on and off of the fourth string. And a G, the first finger, on and off of that fifth string. So to, it'll spice up your playing a little bit. He's alive, he's alive, and he's sitting on the throne. He's alive, he's alive, forever making no home. So you can see though, even though, I'm doing, even though I'm doing a lot of down up strums, I'm still keeping that same timing. I say all the time, strumming is about timing. Think about the timing of each chord makes a huge difference, guys. Timing of each chord more than a strumming pattern. How long do I stay on each chord before I switch? I've changed so many people's lives. I'm so glad somebody taught me that. So I try to teach others the same thing. Please check out AcousticSelection.com for all my lessons. You guys are the greatest subscribers ever. You show me so much love and appreciation. I hope I can send it right back to you with great lessons and encouragement and God's word and so many things. I love you. God bless you.